to this video song frontier video. Now anyone who owned a computer in the 1990s or 2000s may have bought computer magazines. Chances are a lot of them will have came with CD-ROMs on the front. Very much like this one. CD-ROM today basically it would come with a few shareware utilities and maybe a couple of full programs even. Something that was, you know, quite old and <clears throat> really wasn't too much of a hardship for the developer of said application to give away. Now, that was all very well and good because back in the day, you know, when these were released, a lot of computers did have CD drives. And then, of course, you know, when everything moved over to DVD, computers had DVD drives. But what happened before CD-ROM drives actually became popular in personal computers? What if you only had <coughs> a floppy disk drive? Well, before CDs started coming on the front of magazines, they actually started bundling floppy disks with magazines. Now, <coughs> this is from what personal computer, and just like a CD, it has, um, it says it's got over 900 kilobytes of software, which is good. <coughs> There's um, Lemmings, um, another game, um, Atomino, EGA and VGA only, Backgammon, the full game. So there's even a full, a full game on here, PC Right, Light Spell Checker, and CEO. Apparently, the ultimate DOS extension. Not only that, you could even get it in a 5.25 kilobyte disk format. Now, this was <coughs> basically one of the things that I got as part of, uh, you know, my latest lot from YouTube user Redcoin. And I thought it would be very nice, if anything, to show my appreciation by reviewing some of this. So, this is an MS-DOS disk. So I thought I would review it for you using an appropriate MS-DOS laptop. The machine of choice is the very much designed for Windows 95 Toshiba T2130CS. Some of you may remember this. Some of you will remember how much I love this machine. It's 48060X475 charm topped off with, and well, for back in the day, a quite rare Active Matrix display. So let's power it on and put the desk in. Come on. There we go. <coughs> These Toshibas, you really do have to mean like you want to turn it on. Of course, the machine's going to have a go at me because I've not plugged in the CD drive. Okay. <coughs> now, it doesn't look to me... Well, actually it is. It says, insert the disk into drive A or B, type go and press enter. I used to love these instructions. It just made the whole thing so magical. don't know. Stop me if I'm wrong, but I think there's something more magical about actually loading up a disk and then typing something than having it auto-run. I, I don't know. Yeah, and because it's DOS, it's a very, very crowded-looking screen. Oh my goodness, what is with this? 
<coughs> well, I suppose it's a lot better than what we've got nowadays, when Microsoft try to drain the colour out of everything. Okay, so we've got uh, Lemmings, playable demo. Atomino, playable demo. PC Write Spell Checker. Final part of the PC Write Light Suite of Programs. Backgammon. Command Line Editor. CED. Um, <coughs> stuff we couldn't fit in the mag. You could earn up to £800 by writing software for the Mega Desk. Also, we need your feedback on this desk. So, I don't know, let's have a read of some of these things. <clears throat> Atomino is one game, the type of which you won't have seen before. The object is to create complex molecules out of individual atoms without l leaving any straight electrons floating around. To see a demo of this, press F1 from the main screen. To quit, press F and S F10, S and F10. So, <coughs> this is an intriguing game. Press any key for the next screen. So kind of like how on this desk it's really quite easy to load up the demos. And there we go. We have Lemmings. And I really don't know how to play this game. Number of Lemmings. 10, 10% to be saved. Rating, fun. Press mouse button to continue. I must admit, I do like the graphics of this. See, nowadays, anything like this would take up lots of space. What have I done? What have I done? I don't know what I've did. I don't know. So... I can go back to the main menu. I don't like these colours. I, I can't really read them. So let's, let's have a go on Antomino. So I need to actually press F2, not F1. Pignosis Playbout presents a Tomino demo version, copyright 1990. This demo only shows us EGA graphics. The full game will support Hercules, CGA, Tandy, EGA, VGA 256 colours. So let's actually see what it looks like in EGA. Not too bad actually. I will give it its due. The Done really quite well with an EGA display.
create molecules I don't know what molecule I'm creating there, but um, actually feels more like a game of reversi, you know? I seem to be... there we go. Demo 1, complete the given pattern. So it's kind of a chemistry style game. Very nice. I really don't know what I'm doing on here. <clears throat> like I said, it has, you know, it has nice graphics, so I'm just going to hit the F10 button. That will take me back. Do you know what this reminds me of, actually? The PlayStation demo discs. Because, of course, on the, on the PC CD titles, generally, you know, it was just the main menu from which you ran your programs, you know, and then you'd exit your programs. The main menu would be running in the background. You could have it switched off if you want. But it, re it wouldn't really have a consistent key which takes you back to the main menu. The F10 key seems to act like some sort of press, and, press start and select together mechanism. Which on the PlayStation would spit you back out at the demo menu. Apart from on those annoying ones that would say, please make sure to reset your console afterwards. Whereas this one, <coughs> simply copy all the files into the PC Lite subdirectory on this disk into your PC, onto your PC Write disks or other relevant subdirectory if you have a hard disk and the program will now check your files the new dictionary replacement replacing the mini version that was originally supplied so <coughs> that will have been distributed along with um, you know previous editions of the magazine CEO command line editor Let's have a look, see what that is. Command line editor. CED, which stands for the command line, command editor, provides the following functions at the DOS prompt, or from within certain applications programs. Com complete command line editing functionality. Recall of previously issued commands for re-entry. Command synonyms, which may include a chaining of a series of commands. Parameterization of synonym commands. Recall of parameters for previously issued commands. User selectable buffer sizes for all functions. And for programmers, a facility to add resident commands to the DOS shell. This document will usually refer to commands as DOS commands. As CED targets, you should take this to mean either A, an actual DOS command, or B, input to the CED compatible program, for example, debug command. Press any key. So basically, It basically gives more functionality to the command prompt.
And then we've got Fat Gunner, which I believe is the full game. So it's kind of nice how they've managed to fit all this onto a floppy disk. Although this does look like a very old version of that gammon, if I'm going to be completely honest. Use arrow keys to pick your move. So, <clears throat> basically that must have been some sort of competition, encouraging people to write in with programs. See now, I can't actually see them doing that now. Although nowadays it is a lot easier to distribute things online. You know, you probably wouldn't get your small app included on a magazine disc. And yes, I still do have them. And it's kind of nice. Because, I mean, there is <coughs> an advantage of having a disc over having everything to download. One advantage is that not everyone can get everything downloaded. Another advantage is it's always good to have an offline sort of applications, especially when troubleshooting. I mean, I especially know how important that is because, um, you know, customers aren't always online. And secondly, on CDs, you do get a couple of full applications like that backgammon. That was the full version. So that was a wee look about what at uh, what personal computer. I must admit, I did quite like it, even though um, you know I wasn't too keen on the applications on the desk. But um, you know, it's always nice to get something for free. You know, and um, <clears throat> the command line editor lo does look genuinely interesting. I will probably have a look at that in my own time, but for now. This is me, Jay Wakefield, away signing off. Please subscribe. Instructions on how to do so will follow. And I hope you enjoyed the, this video and that you'll be back to see future videos. Thank you for watching.